Hi everybody, I hope that you're doing great, you're having a productive day. In this video, I'm gonna talk about margin note, touch on tags, flashcards, and exports options. So, stay tuned. All right, so here we are in margin notes. The first thing I want to show you very quickly is how to add a tag to your cards, to your notes. Uh, it took me a little bit of time to figure it out because I didn't think it's not that straightforward. So let's say I want to add a tag to this particular card. So just click on tag here. Then click on, so let's say I want to add an existing tag. So just click on mind map, whatever. And you can see that my tag has been added here. In order to edit or remove this tag, just click on the note, click on this contextual menu, and you can see that the MindMan tag is on your card. If you want to remove it, just click on the bin sign here, and it's gone. Now, what do you do if you want to add a tag? So you either click on this icon here, or on the contextual menu as usual, click on tag, then click on manage, then add a tag. So I'm going to click Oop, add a tag, whatever. <laughs> Click on the plus button. So it's a bit redundant. They now ask you to name your hashtag. Add a tag. Okay, so now your tag has been added. Close. Um, yeah, so now your tag has been added. It's a little bit of a um, it's a bit it's a bit redundant, like, but hey, that's how you add a tag. Now let's move on to exports options very quickly. So you go to file. If you want more information, by the way, and you just happen to watch this video and you haven't watched the other, the previous one, please do because all the information about cards and uh, contextual menus and everything um, is on those videos. So yeah, just watch the whole series and you'll be able to then understand what I'm doing right now. So click on file for the expert exports options. I'm sorry, guys, I can't speak very well. Go to export notebook. You can export your notebook to Omni Outliner. So click on Omni Outliner. Then click on save. This is very quick as you can see and the entire board is exported to Omni Outliner. I'm just going to show it to you inside of the application. And here is my uh, book, my document and everything exported in Omni Outliner. You would then use Omni Outliner as usual, you know, add your notes. Um, and it's nice and outlined for you with all the images that you need. It's really, really, um, it's a very useful uh, integration. You can also export your notebook to Mind Manager. I did try to download it for you, but I run out some problem when it comes to the export. So I'm still going to export it, but through Xmind, it still works. So just click download um, Xmind. I guess it will work perfectly fine in Mind Manager. It's just that I don't know what's going on with it. It's just I had problem with the download. Um, as you can see, the entire mind map is is inside of the application. Oops, sorry, it's a bit too much. You can also see all the notes that are attached to the mind map. So it works perfectly fine. Just close that. You can export to Anki or Anki. I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, it's like a flashcard application. If you're using it, I don't have to explain it to you. It's pretty simple. Just uh, click on on the app it's pretty simple your cards will be imported inside of Anki and then you can start um, studying it so you can click on study now you know show answers and it works exactly the same as inside margin notes so to be honest just use margin note is exactly the same I'll show you in a minute but if you use Anki you can um, you can send your cards to to Anki you can export your notebook to Evernote. So choose your notebook. I'm going to choose Inbox, of course. Choose Export. I already 
um, exported it. So I'm going to create a new one just so that you can see. And what you can see, it asks you if you want to include a book. I'm not going to do that because it's a big book, so I'm going to say no. But you can include the books if you like. And it's going to work on the background while exporting everything. So I'm going to click OK. And while it's doing that, I'm going to show you the export as PDF, printable PDF. It will ask you a few export option. If you want to export the mind map, the outline, the entire pages, and the margin note on the side. So I'm going to click export. And now it's exporting everything, the book and the margin notes with it, with the mind map and your outline. So this is great if you want a summary of your entire work. Save. Just going to show you that. So here you can see my mind map, you can see my outline, and you can see my notes, my margin notes near my text. So it's really helpful if you want everything in one place, pretty concise and easy to read. Now I can see that the notebook has been exported to Evernote, so just click OK. And I'm going to send you, let's go to Evernote, sorry wasn't even open there you go so this is the book so what I like when it exports to Evernote is, like, is that you have a little um, link here if you click here it will open the book straight into margin note which I like you have your mind map in PDF format you also have your audio note how cool is that all your images all your notes in order outlined very cool feature so that's it for the export option. Now I'm going to show you, I just prefer these views, that's distracting for me. I'm going to show you how the flashcards work. So first of all, you can see on this menu that you have all your filters, your color filters, as well as your tag. So if I want to just, um, if I want to, let me see, if I want to just see marginal picture, just click here, and only the note with this tag will appear. So same thing for color filters, of course. So that will allow you to uh, organize your notes and um, look at the note that you really want to see. So it's up to you how you um, filter out your, your notes. So first of all, let's say that I want to use my flashcard as usual. So just click on flashcard Q&A. And there you go. You have your normal use for flashcards. So it will ask you a question. Just click on the space bar to see the answer. Okay, so another question. You can also rate yourself how if it was hard, good, or easy. So let's do another one. What is a cage life? Just click on the space bar and you have access to the answers. Pretty straightforward. So now let's say that I want to filter my cards during the QA. Just click on any filter you like. And now you only have access to the cards that are filtered with margin note pictures. Okay, so just let's remove this. Now let's uh, look at this. So let's close this. I'm going to show you the um, browse feature. So just click on browse. And what you can do here is browse all your cards and make sure that you find where the uh, snippets is located in the original text. So just click here. And you will see it's highlighted in like in blue bracket. So you can see a blue bracket here where the text is. Is located so that allows you to read the text within its context and find it again if you lost sight of it to come back just click on this icon here located just click on it and now you can see your entire mind map and obviously where your card is located just click on the card if you want to access the uh, the details of the card all right so there you have, you find your card very quickly so that allows you to find your information very quickly as well as locate exactly the snippet of text within the original text and then read it with it in its context. So it's pretty useful. You can also have a speech um, function if you need to. How many properties does our charge level has? So as you can see, it will just speak the card out to you. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I don't do videos very often. I'm a very busy person. I work a lot. But what I do is really to help you out. So let me know what you want to um, watch, what you are interested in. 
and I'll do my best to deliver on that. But I hope that those kind of videos are helpful to you. I do recommend Margin Note. It's amazing if you work with PDFs a lot. If you need to organize your brain, <laughs> if there's a lot of information to process. With the mind map view, you can have an overview of everything. That's why I love Margin Note. It does require you to actually learn it. But once you understand it fully, it's a very, very powerful app. So guys, have a good day. It was a pleasure for me to serve you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.